Hey y'all, welcome back to Tony TV, and it's time for the takeover. So you already know what it is, Challenge All-Stars Season 2, Episode 5. Love this show, I'm so glad Paramount brought it back. It is doing great for me, and it's doing a lot better than the challenge on MTV. So, let's get into it. So don't forget, last week, Katie and Derek both were sent home, and so Brad and Ayana both have life shields going into this week. Those life shields will keep them safe from going into elimination. So we have the Three Kings Alliance, which is Latarian, Tech, and Nehemiah, and they're trying to stay safe as long as they can against the bigger alliance, which has Brad, Kohuta, Darrell, MJ, that side of the house. They're trying to stay safe from them, so they know they need to keep their numbers together locked in to get them further in the game. And they're also in the same room, so that kind of keeps them protected so they can hear like they can always come back together to like a central base to you know talk about whatever they need to talk about. Then they also have Melinda in their room who they're also protecting. And they have Steve, who Steve has nobody in the house at all. So they're trying to look out for Steve because he's in their room. They like, okay, we're gonna have his bag, we're gonna do what we can to keep him safe. Cool. Remember that. That's gonna be very important this week. So we get to this week's cha uh, daily challenge and it's called Bounce Back. So basically, it's a, a series of trampolines that get like higher in height. And you so you gotta bounce all the way up all of them. And when you get to the top, there's three puzzle pieces hanging down. And you have to knock the puzzle pieces into the water and you have to swim back with one puzzle piece at a time. And at the end, you have to solve pretty much a math equation using those puzzle pieces. Challenges, they're going at it, and, you know, they bounce and bounce and bounce and getting up there. And like, like you really have to knock down the puzzle piece or it won't come down because it's attached to two strings. So if you don't knock it down, you might only knock down part of it and it still may not fall, so now you don't fell into the water extra times, and you gotta keep doing that until you get all the pieces. So some people's getting gassed out, they can't handle it. Casey felt like a good three times without knocking her piece down, so she pretty much said she wasn't gonna do it no more. She was like, I'll take my chances in the elimination because I don't have the energy to keep falling. So you already know that pissed TJ off. TJ don't like stuff like that, that he doesn't like quitters, so he wasn't too happy about that. Then you had Steve go, and Steve had a smart idea, or so we thought. So Steve used both hands, he knocks down two puzzle pieces at the same time. However, you can't bring two puzzle pieces to land at the same time, you can only bring one. So he has to leave one puzzle piece out and bring only one in. So by doing that, the other puzzle piece that stayed in the water started floating further away. So Steve had to swim further out to go get it and bring it back. So at that point, wasn't a smart decision anymore. Had the right idea, but the wrong gameplay. It just, you wasn't following the rules, so the rules backfired on you. So that did not help Steve's game out. Um, and then you had Melinda, who she was, you know, knocking her puzzle pieces down, but she hit the she hit the wall too hard one time, and it knocked, it knocked the wind out my dog. She couldn't do it no more. She couldn't take it. So she also got disqualified because she just physically couldn't do it anymore either. We get through all the competitors. They all they all completing it. They all doing it at different time frames. We don't know how long it took everyone to compete it. So at the end, TJ goes over the, um, the results, and so since Melinda also got disqualified but she didn't jump as many times as Casey Melinda becomes the person well becomes the female that has to compete in elimination so Casey lucked up because it really should have been her because she quit for real without even you know still giving it all she had Melinda gave it all she had and just couldn't go any longer then for the guys it, it was Steve because Steve you thought you was doing something smart and you really wasn't so yeah definitely backfired on you so we got Melinda and Steve automatically going into elimination then for the winners we got my girl Jody. Jody gonna do her big one every time. Jody is really killing it. She done came back and she let y'all know why she was the first female solo winner in challenge history. Like Jody not playing no games at all. Then for the guy that was down between Brad and Darrell, so I'm like, okay, we good. Regardless, that alliance is gonna be safe as long as one of them is in power. So my boy Darrell, he did it. This is his second win already. It's us Darrell and it's Jody's second win actually so far this season. So you know, that they're doing great so far. Uh, I'm not surprised. Darrell's always been a beast. Darrell gonna stay a beast. And he's showing them why he meant to be here. And then, so we already know Jody wants Tina to go in because Jody and Tina got bad blood. Tina voted for Jody to go in a few weeks ago. So to, Jody's like, it's my turn to return the favor. And then Darrell, he knows about that little alliance going on with the Three Kings. So he wants to put Tech in against Steve because that's knocks down at least one of their people in their alliance is gonna go home this week. So, you know, my Darrell always thinking. So for Darrell, he's like, I wanna put Tech in. And also I wanna nominate Tyler so that when the house has to vote, Tyler will have the votes to be safe and Tech won't. So Tech, so obviously it'll be it'll be Tech versus Steve. So, but the only problem is Ayana has uh, made it clear that she would save Tech if he if his name is up there to be nominated. So Darrell's trying to figure out, well, what can I do to make sure that doesn't happen? So when they go down there for nominations and it's Jody and Darrell, they talk about they talk about the situation at hand, and Jody's like, so what can we do? to make sure Tech's name stays up there and Ayana can't use it. So Darrell's like, we gotta flush her out. So that's when it becomes a decision 
for Jody, for as far as the girls go, she puts uh, Tina and Ayana initially so that Ayana will have to use her live show on herself. And then at that point, she was like, she's like, I'll put up Casey since Casey didn't perform well this week. Just throw Casey's name up there. Casey, you're going to be safe. It's all good in the hood. We ain't got nothing to worry about. So then the, the Life Shields holders, they come down, which is Brad and Ayana, to see the results to determine if they want to use their Life Shields or not. So Ayana gets mad. She's upset. She doesn't like the idea. She doesn't like the idea that her name is put up there. So she has to use her Life Shield on herself in order to stay safe. Right, because she feels as though she won the life shield for winning her elimination, so she should be able to use it fairly, not just to keep herself safe. And I understand her point, but also it's the challenge, it's how it is. It's not gonna be fair gameplay all the time. You gotta do what you gotta do to get yourself further in the game. And Darrell, Darrell knew what he had to do in order to make sure Tech was safe because he knew you would obviously take him down. So yeah, I put you up there to make sure my, my nomination stay the same. It is what it is. Like, like you can be mad about it all you want to, but that's kind of how the game is played. Ayana's not around enough to understand that. That's what happens. Like the game is cutthroat. That's how it's gonna be. If you don't like it, get in power and do what you yeah, do what you gotta do at that point. But if not, take your name off the list, use your life shield, and be happy you say for another week. Like I don't, I don't, I don't understand what the, what's the point of complaining about it if you literally have a life shield to keep yourself safe. Ayana used her life shield to take herself off, and as said. Uh, Jody puts Casey up. So then we have Tina Casey nominated for the girls and we have Tech and Tyler nominated for the guys So once everyone sees the nominations, that's when Steve starts talking He tells Melinda how he wants to go against Tech because he felt like he has a better chance of beating Tech and Nehemiah hears that because you know they all in the same room So Nehemiah hears that Nehemiah don't like that because he's like if we're all supposed to be an alliance Why would you choose to want to go against someone that's in your alliance just because you feel like it's a safe bet for you to stay in the house like that's not cool. We all working together. You already showing you disloyal, and we've done so much to keep you safe. We pretty much brought you into the alliance, and you already turning your back on us when you have nobody else. So Nehemiah don't like that at all. He tells Tech. He tells Latarian. They not happy with it whatsoever. So then they go down to the selection process for the house. Uh, everybody get down there. Casey says she doesn't want to go in to vote for Tina. Tina says she doesn't want to go in vote for Casey. All of that. Tyler, they don't really tell us what Tyler says. If he gives a speech or not, we don't hear it. And Tech pretty much doesn't say anything. He, Because he, he's already pissed about what Steve said. So he's like, it is what it is. If I got to go in, I'm going to go in. So they go around the room. Only Latarian and Nehemiah vote for Tyler. Everyone else in the house votes for Tech, which I wasn't really surprised by. I, everybody like loves Tyler. Like Tyler, Ty, Tyler's that guy. So I wasn't surprised that he was going to be safe regardless. And then they also, they all, most of them vote for Tina. And Tina's shocked that she gets so many votes, which I'm not really sure why when Tina... You have an attitude that a lot of people don't really like that much. And you was crazy back in the day. So people want to get you out of the house so they don't have to deal with you later on. But that's not clicking for her because she feels like she's done like a big transformation on herself. So she doesn't think like people should have a problem with her anymore. She feels like she's played a good game so far. She's been nice to everyone. So no one should feel any kind of way towards her. That's not how the challenge works. I'm sorry, kid. So Tina and Tech are going into elimination. Uh, Tina's pissed, so she started banging pots around, telling everybody, nice Tina's gone, and everybody need to watch out if I come back in this house. All of this, but I'm like, you just talked about how you were striving to be do so well and do so much better in the house this time around and be like a new you. And just that quick, as soon as you got going to elimination now, nice Tina's gone. Like, so was nice Tina a real thing or was it fake? I'm not too sure, it's not adding up to me. So let me get to the elimination ceremony and the game is called Switchback. So basically, it's like, a six-way path I can't even make a six-way with my hand but each player has three skulls green or red and so the object of the game is to then they're all lit up so the object of the game is to turn off the lights to your opponent's skulls and also keep yours on at the same time so in order to win you have to turn all three lights of your opponents off and have at least one of your lights still left on in order to win the game it's pretty much it's a run back and forth keep running keep running keep switching off switching on switching off switching on so it's gonna take some time it's, gonna, it's also gonna take a lot of patience and you have to be alert to know when your lights are getting down so you can make sure you keep yours turned on but also still make sure you're turning theirs off so first up we had a guys we have tech versus steve and they already got a lot of you know tension at this point so they're going at it they're running turn the lights off and they, and they keep on um, shoulder checking each other knocking each other down i'm like it, didn't, it don't even need to take all of that y'all slowing y'all slowing y'all down and wasting more energy by doing that so after a while, Steve was slowing down. You know, he was getting a little gassed out. And so one time he went to go click the uh, switch for one of Tech's lights, and he misses it. So by him missing it, that puts him down a light. And so Tech run, he go turn off Steve's light, and then he turns one of his lights back on. And by the time he does that, Tech wins. Tech did what he had to do. And this also, this was Tech's first elimination win, so I was very proud of him. 
you know, he never did this before, so he's very, he's very happy, very excited. Love that for him. Um, Steve, it's time for you to go, because, you know, you show that you wasn't a man of integrity, and we didn't need you in this house, moving shysty. So, yeah, you got to get up out of here, big dog. You got to go. So then we get to the girls, Melinda versus Tina. Same rules, same game. So, TJ, blow the horn for them to get started. So, Melinda running. Melinda doing what she got to do. Tina's casually walking to, like, the middle of... Like, cause it's pretty much like it's like like pretty much like an X kind of shape. So like, there's a middle ground. So at the middle ground, Tina walks to and just stands there, and everybody like, what the hell is what the hell is going on? Are, are you gonna play? Or are you not gonna play? I'm not understanding. So she does that, and Melinda's like, what? But everybody's still telling Melinda like, keep doing what you gotta do. You need to focus, cause then you still gotta win this elimination. So Melinda does it in a few seconds. It doesn't take her long. Um, Melinda wins, and Tina's going home. So everybody's confused about like Tina. What was that about? So pretty much she says at the end that. She saw herself turning into someone she didn't want to be, and she didn't feel like it was worth it. So she was like, she'd just bow out gracefully, let Melinda take the dub, and she'll go home. And she pretty much said this isn't for her anymore. And I get the idea that, like, you know, you don't want to revert back to someone you used to be for a game or anything like that. Because, like, you worked so hard on your mental health. I understand it. I get it. You worked so hard to become this new version of yourself. But I still don't feel like that was the way to go out. Because, like, that was just a waste of an elimination. And also, because Melinda wanted to prove herself as a, comp a competitor in the house. And she didn't get that chance because you decided to not play and just stand there. And it's like, I feel like you also was trying to like, you know, make it a whole scene about why you were leaving and all this kind of stuff because you felt the way, because you got put into elimination. And there's, there's so many other ways you could have went about it than that way. And that's the way you chose to go out. And I don't know. I don't like it. Because my whole thing when people do stuff like that is like so many other people want it to be in your position, want it to be in the house and be able to compete. But because you can't keep your emotions in check, you chose to just lay out and die basically and you took up a spot that somebody else could have had so that's very annoying i'm not a fan of that but good news melinda saved tech saved they have lectures going into next week and we're gonna see how the game keep unraveling drop in the comments how y'all feel about tina's decision and gameplay and also tell me how y'all feel about steve because i'm not a big fan of steve i don't care if steve doesn't come back but yeah make sure y'all like comment subscribe and we back at it hey.